Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be decorating my February Currently page. I use this page for memory keeping, so that's why I'm just barely doing February since I wait until the month is over and then I do a little memory keeping on this page. Honestly, this is probably my most favorite thing that I love having in my my catch-all planner is just like a little snapshot of some fun things that happened during the month. So like my January one, this was my January currently page. I like to do a little bit of like journaling about some of the pictures and just have my little memories for the month. Um, so February, I have a few. So it was Valentine's Day. So my nephew asked me to be his Valentine. So we did like a little Zoom. We, we exchanged gifts. We sent gifts to each other. And we did a little Zoom um, opening of the presents and stuff, which was really cute. We both got each other like a bunch of things and some cute little uh, stuffed animals. So I want to definitely document that one. I feel bad because it was my mom's birthday in February, but I don't have any pictures. I think we just like took video. I guess I could have grabbed pictures from there, but um, yeah, I didn't take any pictures. But uh, I do have, I did meet up with a friend. I met up with my friend Tina, Planner Girl Tina on Instagram. And we had lunch, which I feel like nowadays when you can eat at a restaurant, like outside at a restaurant, it's like a big deal. So I definitely want to document that because that was a lot of fun. I think that was the last time I ate in a restaurant recently. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, and then my, um, my cat was featured on the Happy Planner, which I thought was really cute that they used her photo on. I think it was like, Nash yeah, it was National Love Your Pet Day. So that was February 20th. So I want to put that on this on this page too. So I normally, when I decorate the this page, I like to coordinate it with what I did on my monthly. This is the one time I like to be matchy-matchy. So I'm going to go with this color scheme. It's also great because then I don't have to think of a theme. I just basically use the same color scheme, the same, well, I use the same theme. I use the same florals. I'll use all of the hearts. This, the colors, the washi, I'll just use all the same. I just with a little memory keeping spin on it. So I have all of those sticker books pulled, the washi, and just gonna take my page out and get started. Yeah, so if you never know, like if you're kind of confused with this page, because for a while I was, I didn't really do anything with this page, try memory keeping on it. Cause it's like, I feel like memory keeping every day, if I had to do that every day, that would be a lot. I wouldn't actually have very much to memory keep. Uh, but when you do like a month, like just the, like the little fun things in the month, and it doesn't really have to be anything major. I mean, I took a picture of my food um, <laughs> going out to eat or something. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't have to be anything like big, but just having like a couple memories on the page is, is a lot of fun. So, okay, I have these florals. I think I have enough of the same ones that I used. So I'm gonna grab what I have. They might be like a different color variation since I don't have as many left but that should be fine yeah because I don't have I have two of these books so let me see what I have in here so I used I used more of the red ones which I realized I don't oh, okay I guess these are red so I'm gonna pull these probably some pinks which I didn't use those in my monthly but that's fine I'm gonna grab another pink. Oh, and then I did do another type of flower from this sticker book. It is these, which I I had some bigger ones I was able to use, but I also cut the pink ones out from here. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing if I wanna get this floral on the page. So I only want the pink part. Can't get them off. Oh my gosh, this one does not want to come off page. Okay, there you go. So yeah, I'm just going to cut around this sticker and just get the pink portion. I'm going to put this back, but first I'm going to take this off. Just makes it easier to put stickers back.
Okay, so I'm gonna keep this in here. And I mean, maybe I can use it in a different spread in the future. But I'm going to do um, a couple more of these so I can have some more of those pink flowers. Yeah, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the rest of these. Okay, so I cut out all the pink ones. I actually, like I might have to do a spread with these colors because that's actually a really pretty color combo. Uh, but yeah, I cut out all those pink ones. I think those were all of them. Yeah. Okay, so now I can move on to putting this stuff down since I have a lot of florals that I can use. And then, oh, I'm gonna grab my little colorful boxes because I do want some red boxes. I want some red, I want some pink, I think. I'm gonna grab this one. Oops. Is my only red? Oh, I think I put this out of order. Okay, so I have some more over here. I have some bigger ones. If I have bigger ones, probably not. Oh, I have these, okay. I like this one. And then I have pink too. Mm, not the right pink. Okay. So I'm going to start with this first. So I think I got a, a different sticker book too to pull pink from. Alright. So I think I want this. Let me try to figure out where I'm going to put these. So I think I want that on the top. Put this here. I usually use like journaling cards, but I feel like I don't have a lot of pictures this time around. So I don't really need to do journaling cards with this memory keeping page. Yeah, I feel like it's enough. So I might do this with this one. Okay. So... I'm gonna put this down here. And then this can be like where I write about this picture, like in here. I do wanna put some florals with that one, like a little cluster of florals. I'm gonna grab some of these pinks. And this red one, or the pink, other pink one. And probably do them like that with that picture yeah okay so this let me see placement so I'm gonna go here I think and that can go right there okay so I'm gonna tape this down okay I'm gonna put some tape on this Cute, cute. Okay, and then I do want to add in some washi. I think I want to do the XOXO and then the hearts. I didn't use the XOXO on my um, monthly. I think I think I want to do it on this one. And then I have these little heart ones that I think I can stack. Cute. Okay. And then the other thing I added around the florals is I did um, hearts. So I'm gonna do that same thing here. So I have the mega, the mega seasonal sticker book and it had some hearts in here. I pulled these. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna grab these and add them to a few places around these florals. 
I'm gonna cover up. Actually, I'm gonna white out the notes. So I don't need the notes. That. Cute, cute, cute. I'm gonna just do those three. All right, that looks really cute. I love that. So cute. Cool. All right, so next, so I have these. I want to add over oh, where my other picture go? Oh my gosh, it's like right in front of me. Okay, so let me figure out these now. Because I do want to have like a box. So maybe I'll do a box. It doesn't have to be a big box for this one. I could do this one here. Yeah. So I'm going to put this here. Put this here. Here. Yeah, I'm going to wipe this out just a little bit. Tape this down. So cute. My cat is like a really good, um, really good at posing for pictures. <laughs> She's very photogenic. So, um, yeah, I took like so many pictures of her and they all came out really cute. <laughs> so yeah, happy that they reposted that one. Okay. I might put florals here. So I'm going to do this one, probably some of these pink ones. Do a different size here. I think I want to do this one, but I'm going to cut this stem off. So I don't need that part. I think of this. Actually, I'm gonna wipe this out. Okay. I think this is good here. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like I need florals somewhere else though, because I only have them like here. And I want some here, probably somewhere else. But I'll figure that out in a bit. Um, but I do like that. And then maybe I can find a box that I can write in for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna look for a pink box. Okay, so I had a pink box in my little colorful boxes sticker book. Um, I like it, but I don't like that it's the same size. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it and make it a little bit smaller so it's not exactly like that one. Okay, I probably, yeah, I think that's better. Actually, this way. Uh, yeah, like that. So I'm gonna tape this down. some more of those hearts I have one here start adding add a couple more onto the spread All right, that looks 
that's good. And then, like I said, I wanted to add a quote in here. And I have um, um, the uh, Teresa Collins quotes sticker book. I love Teresa Collins quotes. Because I love the, um, the font. It's really, it's just like a really nice, clean font. So I think I like this do all the things. I'm gonna put that in the middle. And then I'm gonna add some washi down here just to tie in that washi up on the top. I still want to do more florals, maybe just a little bit more because I don't like that it's just on this side of the page. So I might do some here. Let me see. It won't be as big of a cluster, I think. Maybe just two. should put it here I'm gonna go with that I'm gonna cut this off I have to repunch these holes I think that's good and then I'm gonna do a couple more hearts maybe like one heart Which one will look better? I'll do that one. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Alright, I think it looks really pretty. I'm gonna white out these. I probably should have done it with a pen, but I'm just gonna do it like that. And then I'm going to now, I'm probably gonna journal in this, but I do wanna see if I have any circle stickers first that I can put hmm. now these have like a weird foil uh, but this one is cute because it says love this I'm gonna go with this one it's a pink foil so it goes actually we should put it here in this corner love this right there so cute and I can do this patch. I'm gonna go with it. This one says hello pretty. So I'm gonna put this here on this corner. Cute. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to like just write in these boxes a little bit. And then I don't know, I might add in a couple more things because I like my pages to look full. But this does look pretty good so far. I do like it a lot. So yeah, I'm going to just write in here and then I'll be back. Okay, so I wrote in the boxes. I actually use a, a fine point type pen, this Muji. I don't know what point this is. Oh, it's it's a point, point, oh my gosh, 0.38. Because I didn't have a big place to write in, but I wanted to write a little bit more than I thought. So yeah, I, I wrote small and with a fine point pen and I was able to fit everything that I wanted to in these small boxes. So yeah, I wanted to add in some more quotes. So I really like taking this memory keeping sticker book and using like these foiled stickers to stick onto the pictures. Cause I think it's, I like that. This is the one of the times where I really like using foiled stickers because I like having them actually on the pictures. So I'm going to pick some 
that kind of go with the pictures I picked. So like this one, this one says I heart this place. And I went to a restaurant I haven't been to before. It was, I think it was called Lazy Dog. It's like Lazy Dog Cafe, I think. And I'd always wanted to go there. So that's where we went to eat. It was so good. So yeah, I definitely like that place a lot. So I'm going to put I heart this place ah, here because it was really good food. Uh, and I definitely want to go again. I put it off to the side a little bit too much. But yeah, I have that little I heart this place. And I like that sometimes you can't see it, but sometimes you can see it. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to find another one for uh, my little Misty. Uh, let's see. I could do beautiful. This one's cute. It says totally perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do it vertically. Because I don't want it to be, I would put it here, but I don't want this to be like on the same line. So I think if I do it vertically, it might look okay. So again, it's like really hard to read it if you're looking at it at certain angles, but it's there going right over the picture. Totally perfect. So cute. And then I'm going to do one for this picture. And I think I'm going to do... I, th I like that I use this lettering. I'm actually going to fix this because it's crooked. But yeah, I'm going to use the same type of lettering, I think, because I use just the, the regular font. Oh, I'll fix it later. Uh, so I think I'm going to do... There's one that says just you and me. That one's cute. Since that was our thing. That was our thing that day. Just you and me. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I want to put this one. Okay. I'm going to do it up on this top corner. Cute. Okay, so I really like that. And I think, okay, I'm gonna fix this one. Okay, so I ended up putting it on the other side because I had more room and it didn't seem as like squished over here. I still put it vertically, but yeah, I think I like that better. All right, so I got my little quotes that I like putting on the pictures. I wanna, I have this little love bug that I really wanna add onto the page. I didn't do any of these type of stickers in my monthly, but I've always wanted, I've been wanting to use this one. I just never found the right, like, opportunity to use them and I think it'd be cute if I added it here so I felt like I need something over here I'm gonna put it straight um but yeah this is too adorable not to add onto the spread because it's so cute okay so yeah I think I'm done it looks so cute I love I love this theme it's so pretty I mean I love the florals it's a really cute spread definitely coordinates with my monthly which is like i said that's what i like to do is just have it coordinate with the monthly and i'm gonna put this back oh actually i need to repunch these holes okay so i cut out those holes so now i can put this back in my planner and it is way too adorable i love it so much it definitely coordinates with my monthly and oh i'm so happy with how that one turned out it's so cute and i love those little like the little quotes on the pictures those are a lot of fun so yeah that is my currently my little memory keeping page uh in my planner i hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos please hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you guys all in the next one